Okay, everybody, welcome back to Luxor. Let's keep racing. So, uh, I was just about to see what I was going to do. Am I going to play my five or am I going to play my forward backwards one? And I think, let's, let's start moving. Jen's jumped ahead. I don't want to fall too far behind. Let's go ahead and play the big gun, which is proving to be difficult to pick up. All right, there we go. There's a five. And now who's going to move? All, well, actually, it doesn't really matter because even though these guys look like they're on different spaces, they're not. They're functioning on the same space because, again, we ignore empty spaces. We move from tile to tile. So this guy would go one, two, three, four, five. But this guy would also go one, two, three, four, five. So let's have one of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and boom! But uh, as I was saying about the Eye of Horus, we've just landed here. Now, this guy has a choice. I can either pick up a key... Keys are worth one point if you've got them at the end of the game. But more importantly, you can't get into the central chamber without a key. So I could pick up a key or I could pick up this Eye of Horus card. Which means this round I would not draw blind. Instead, I'd know what card I'm adding to my hand. And this is a special... It's a single Eye of Horus card. This one lets me move all of my characters forward one space. That can be very, very powerful. I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that. Which means I'm drawing from here instead of from here at the end of my turn. I put this, as always, in the center of my deck and I'll get access to that power later. All these, these little low one spaces. Alright, so Jen's turn. And she's got a tough choice. Because here's the thing. She, she's in position. All three of her guys, this is what she wanted to do. She wanted them to move forward as a group. But Jen only has two ones left. And yo, we've been through so many value one cards, and I've got I've probably got all the rest. Jen's worried she's not gonna find any more value one cards in here so that she could move all three of her guys forward one space. So does because on the flip side, if she uses this one for her guy way out here in front, he will come up here and boom, get to move forward two more spaces. So Jen will move three spaces with one. So does she save her one? But she has to use either this one or this one. Does she use it for her original plan and hope she'll pick up some ones out of here? Or does she use it here to get a bonus bit of movement? Hmm, that is an interesting choice. I think she'll stick to her plan. All right, we'll see how well this works. She'll, t she'll play this one and she'll save her forward-backwards one for a bit. And, I mean, if she can move backwards too, she'd go one, two, and she'd pick up this statue. But she only has one forward-backwards card, so she's not doing that. She's going to play this. She's not going to move here to get the boost of speed. Instead, she's going to stick to her original plan. She will get this necklace! The other guys, if only they could move forward! All right, now she draws, and she wants to see a one. Show me a one. Ah! I was complaining before about the low numbers. Now, all we can get is high numbers! All righty. All right. Well, I mean, hey, the, Jen, that just means this guy can get to the center that much faster. And there's big points to be, uh, to be uh, unlocked there. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. I can move forward one, or I can move forward backwards one. Um, let's see here. So either of these guys will end up moving here, or this guy moving forward one will go here and then uh, skip four. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty cool. These two guys will, I mean, so he will have almost unlocked him. But since I've got all these ones, I could try to, like Jen is planning to do over here, I could move both of these guys onto here. And then if this guy unlocks the next one, I can move him over here and pick up this treasure. What do I want to do? I got nothing but ones. And don't forget, I've also got the move everybody forward one space all at once. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to use this regular one then with that in mind to move him forward one, which means he gets to go forward one, two, three, four. Yeah, and after he goes forward one more, we'll unlock him because I want to use this everybody moves forward one space to best effect. Both of these guys will move into position. Whoever gets more, you know, etc., etc. So, I draw myself. Ooh. Now, whenever this gets played, I move forward a random amount based on the roll of the die. The capricious whim of the gods will determine how far I move when I play that card. Okay, Jen's turn. So... Um, she's going to hold on to this one for a bit. She's going to go on ahead and play this five and have her lead guy continue going deeper. One, two, three, four, five. And there's nothing he can do here. But now Jen could play her one to move him here to get herself a key. Because she can't get into the center unless she's got a key. Or, or she could get this level two, because you can see there's two eyeballs here, this level two Horus card, which when she plays it, lets her choose to move one, two, three, or four spaces. 
But she has to spend a one to get that one. So she still can't get all three guys onto the same spot. This is murder. But well, hold on. We'll worry about that in a second because let's see what she draws. A four. Yep. All Jen, yeah, Jen has got the pedal to the metal now. Ma well, ooh, this is interesting. Jen has four fours. So she could move all three of these guys. One, two, three, four. She could have all three of these guys move forward four to get this five pointer. That's not bad. It might be time to forget about these. It'd be a shame not to take advantage of this thing that I created, though. But that's a three. Jen doesn't have any threes. We'll worry about that later. It's my turn. All right, I'm going to move forward or backwards one, or I'm going to move forward or backwards one. Oh, and hey, look, if I move backwards one, I can pick up this statue, but I need to move forward one to do that. All right, I'm going to do this, and I am going to move backwards one to pick up. I've got another statue. Now I've got two. I, now I, I, you know, I just I can almost have two full sets of stuff. Hooray! All right, so that's what I did. I draw a new card, and it is. Ooh, it's one of these randomizers. Now I've got two of them. Jen's turn. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, you know what? Okay, I think. Yeah, Jen's just going to play this one. She's given up on moving all. Oh, but she has. No, I don't think. Yes, I, has she? Yes, she has. Arr. All right. Well, she's given up on trying to move all these guys forward one. She's going to move her lead guy forward one to get a level two card or key. She'll take the level two card. All right. Which gives her all kinds of the flexibles. All right. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. Another plus one, minus one, or plus one, minus one. I will go on ahead and play. I'd like to get to these randomizers as fast as possible. I'm going to do this. And I'll have my guy... Once again, move backwards. Either to get a key or another special card. I'll take another special card. I'll, I mean, I'll worry. I mean, there are lots of opportunities to pick up these keys. So as he gets deeper, I'll pick up keys later. But for now, I just keep walking backwards to get all these special cards that I missed on my mad rush. All righty. So there we go. That was my turn. Jen's turn. She's at her fours. Is she going to start moving her guys en masse to all to pick up this? Or is she just going to keep rushing? One, two, three, four would get her this. If she only had a one, she could move that the rest of the way for free. Here is a single treasure. She could pick up this. That would require one, two, three, four, five. She doesn't have a... Yes, she does. She does have a five. Okay. So Jen's going to play this four. Not to move rush forward, but instead to get... One, two, three, four, five. If she does a five, then everybody's rushing up there. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, because she wanted the five because it gets her there with this guy. So one of these guys is moving four. One, two, three, four. Her plan is in motion. We'll see how well that works out. And hey, another four. Jen is the queen of fours. It's ironic because Jen actually needs a three because this guy's out of sync with her other guys. But anyway, so we'll worry about that in a minute. My turn. So I've got... The, let's, let's, let's see what the gods have in store for us. I'm going to move one of my guys... Six spaces! Boom! Ooh. All right, I, I wanted to keep these guys back so they can pick that up. So I'll have my lead guy move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've just woken up somebody new and I don't pick up anything. But now all of a sudden I've almost caught up with Jen. Nice. And I will take a three. Okay. And it is Jen's turn. So Jen will go on ahead and play her five now. One, two, three, four, five. Jen's unlocked another. And she just picked up her first treasure, which is worth only one point. But hey, it's still good for set collection. And Jen has just revealed a hawk tile or a falcon tile. Ooh, okay. Now, Jen doesn't get to use this. this. The function of this tile is it's a tunnel. By itself, it doesn't do anything. But if we reveal another tunnel somewhere in the dungeon, then that becomes a shortcut throughout, not the dungeon, through the tomb. So that's what Jen found, and I'm coming right up behind. I might take advantage of it, maybe not. And Jen's got herself a three. Okay, and now it is my turn. I got another randomizer, or I've got the forward backwards one. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm gonna go on ahead and use the randomizer. Let's see what the die has in store this time. A two, not quite so exciting, but that's okay. I say, oh, I could go forward one, two, and get another special card or key. I, I'm running out of chances to get keys to get into the center. Or this guy could go forward one, two, so he will... Um, no, 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 let's go on ahead and just go one, two. 
Do I take another special card? Now, this is an interesting one. This one says, hey, when I play it, I only move one space, but whoever just moved can pick up a treasure with one less character because I've got a duffel bag. So that could be handy. This guy could be picking up these level twos by himself. Or, no, but you know, I better grab a key. Because I, you know, I, who knows, I might, well, no, but I've got these other guys behind to pick the keys up for me. Let's go on ahead and get another cool special power card. All righty. Nice. Jen's turn. She can play a four or she can play a one to four. Her choice. Let's see. And I've totally forgotten what she's doing. See, if she goes one, two, three, four, she gets a key that she needs. If she goes one, two, three, four, she gets a triple card. And yo, I mean, I'm not too far behind. So is Jen just going to keep on racing to get in here, to get to the five? Because here's the interesting thing. I think I said right up front, this game is over once both of these sarcophagi have been taken. If Jen gets in there with this guy and gets one, and I am not too far behind, I get the other one, then, you know, I mean, both of these guys in here will be worth 13 points. There's only a five-point spread between the two of them, and the tiebreaker will come down between the treasures which Jen is not doing very well in, and the relative locations of our other guys. This guy's worth two. This guy's worth two. This guy's worth one. All these guys are worth nothing. So it doesn't necessarily behoove Jen to rush and in the game because I'm doing so much better. I think Jen's got to start taking care of her guys in the back ranks. And remember, she had this plan to move everybody up four. So Jen's going to go ahead and play this four and go one, two, three, four. So she's about to pick up this five point, which will go a long way because I've picked up a lot, but you know they have been lower point tiles. All right. So that was Jen's turn. She gets a new card. And, oh, it's a randomizer. Okie dokie. And it's my turn. I'll play the one to three or the forward backwards one. Ooh, if I go forward one, I can get three. So that'd be one. And then one, two, three. Not quite enough to pick up another guy. If I have this guy go forward or backwards one, or if I have this guy go forward backwards one, if I have this guy go forward backward one, hmm. Let's see. Or I also have the pick any guy and move one to three spaces. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this, and I'm going to have my, la my new guy go one, two, three, and Jen can... Right. Oh, wait, wait, no. Can I do this? One, two, three. Because what I was thinking is... Remember, I've got this, everybody moves forward one. If all three of these guys move forward one, they'll just suddenly grab this right out from underneath Jen. But can I do it? I need to look, and I can see that Jen has a four. No, I can't collect that before Jen does. So I'm not going to move this guy one, two, three. I mean, I could still do it, because hey, I mean, it might be worth it anyway. Yeah, what the heck, let's go and do it. One, two, three. I don't know exactly what Jen's going to do, because remember... I don't know what's in Jen's hand. This is secret. I don't know if Jen has the four she needs to be able to grab this. I might still have a shot. And in the meantime, I move this guy up here. And hey, I just got a wild card treasure, which finishes one of my sets. Yeehaw! And then I draw a new card. And it's another randomizer. All right. And the deck is empty. So pretty soon, we're going to reshuffle all of the, everything that's come so far, including the specials we've used. And that'll become a new draw pile. Jen's turn. She can see I'm right on the edge. Because she remembers I grabbed that everybody move forward one. So she knows she better do it now. So she is going to do it now. She did have the four. One, two, three, four. Boom. Jen's second treasure. She's up to six points. She's almost got a set. And she has just revealed another Cobra top. <gasps> Whoa, everything just changed, folks, big time. Here's the thing. There is now, anybody who lands on this space immediately pops up here. They go from being worth two points to six points at the end of the game. And this is a real problem because all three of Jen's guys can't land here anymore. They can only move forward. Where all of my guys, they can now move forward, land on here, and just in mass jump up there. Oh my gosh, that's a game changer. But look at this, folks. Uh, right, Jen needs to draw a card. And so she will have to shuffle up. You know what? I think I've won. I don't think Jen can come back from this. Unless she gets a lot of move backwards so that she can move her guys up. This, this is going to be such a huge windfall for me. But anyway, in the meantime, we're just going to shuffle up. We have a new draw pile. And Jen gets herself a new card. It's a two. All righty. Goes in the center of her hand, and now it is my turn. And oh my gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, let's get to that. Everybody moves forward one as fast as possible. So I got to move somebody forward or backwards one. 
Um, I'll just have this guy go forward one, and then he goes one, two, three. Can't pick that up, but that's okay. Draw a new card, and hey, I got a fiver. Number five is alive. Red five going in. Jen's turn. Oh, man. Yeah, that is terrifying. Like I said, all three of these guys are just going to be able to zip right up here and just instantly be worth six points. Jen only has one guy who could take advantage of that. And all her other guys, well, she's got to make sure these guys pick up a boatload of treasures, which she has not done yet. <sighs> so anyway, so she's got this uh, pick anybody to move one, two, three, or four, or this move forward three. Let's evaluate. She could go one, two, three, and by herself not pick that up. Although, she could go four and cut up here, get um, this, which lets all her guys move forward two, which would get her another treasure. <clears throat> that kind of makes sense. Yeah, let's go for that. So, she will um, take that, and one, two, three, or four, she will have this guy go... One, two, three, four. All right. And yeah. So she will take a triple level card, which goes in the center, and all of her guys will be able to move as a group and pick something up. All right. So we'll see how well this works for her. Meanwhile, my turn. Here's the big move. Here's the game winning move. Every one of my guys moves forward one. So uh, he moves forward one, which unlocks this guy. Um, Oh my gosh. I've never act Does he go backwards? I think you only go forwards with these. I have not had this situation in the games we've played so far. I need to look this up. The function of the, um, of the shortcut. Where are you? Move from one tunnel to the next. It's on. All right. Sorry. I'm just checking the rules here, folks. Oh, come on. You're in here somewhere. I know you are. There it is. Okay. Tunnel. The player must immediately advance their runner to the next tunnel in the direction of the tomb chamber. Oh, yeah, so you don't go backwards. So he just moved forward one and did nothing. But these guys all move forward one, and then boom, they all caught up. Wow. All righty. Um, that is pretty, pretty scary for Jen. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, and I draw one. Uh, and it is Jen's turn now. So she will, she's waiting for all these guys to move forward. So she needs to get to that. Let's see if she goes one, two, three. She picks up that. If she goes one, two, three, four. Um, what the heck? She'll go on ahead and just play this three. One, two, three. Gets a new card. It's a four. She's getting all these high value numbers, but I don't think it's going to save her. I think this game is over. J uh, my turn. All, oh, oh, by the way, this guy, he also moved forward one, the guy who just showed up. So what am I going to do now? Um, well, I want to I wanna trigger the end of this game as fast as possible since I've got 24 points right here plus one point for this guy. So let's go on ahead and use my randomizer and roll a six or a two. That's not so great. But anyway, I'll move forward one, two, because that gives me one more. And hey, if all these guys get here, they can give me another nice big treasure. So that's that. I draw a new one. And it's a nice one, two, or three high-powered card. Goes into the center of my hand. Jen's turn. Okay. So Jen will go on ahead and play her randomizer. And it's a three. One, two, three. Doesn't really do anything for her. She's not very excited about that. And pretty soon, here's there's a couple interesting things. One, Jen cannot get into this center unless she's got a key. So she's relying on these guys to pick up the key. Um, or this guy. Also, she has to have the exact correct number to be able to move it in. So from here, she'd have to have us play a one, two, three, four. She needs to have a key and she needs to play a four. She's got the four. She doesn't have the key. She needs to get that key to get in here to score the 13 plus five points. Right. Okay. So let's see what she draws. She gets a three. And my turn. I got a three and a five. One, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three. Yeah. Let's go on ahead and play that three and have this guy catch up. One, two, three. And now one more guy here will pick me up another nice big fat treasure. Okay. And I got the plus one, minus one. Jen's turn. She will play the everybody moves forward two. Um, one, two. And one, two. So now she needs to play a one, two to get in here. Um, but all three of these guys, well, that was overkill. She only needed two of them, but she just picked up a treasure. And she's revealed a new one that she cannot use. Ah, this is if anybody lands here, they get a scarab beetle. These are randomly one, two, or three points. You never know. Okay. Oh, man. Not being able to... Oh, that's just killing her. 
All right, but okay. So anyway, so she draws what she got. She gets a two. All right, she needs that two because remember, she needs a two to be able to move in there. Um, but she needs a two to get a key to get in there as well. Okay, my turn. I've got the um, somebody moves forward one and can pick up something that they wouldn't normally be able to pick up. But nobody, if I move any of my guys forward one, he won't still be able to pick it because he'd need two guys there. He would not pick up anything. So it doesn't make sense to play this. So let's go on ahead and play my fiver. Okay. And now, is this guy going to... I mean, this guy's only worth one point. If he goes one, two, three, four, five... Hey, he goes up to two points and I get a scarab. That makes sense. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Although, if I wait and play a four, he could jump all the way up here and be worth six. Yeah, that makes more sense. I don't have a four, but I might be able to move up. So let's use this five for one of my other guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, five. Well, you know what? I do... No, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is the guy who's going to be in the lead to try to get into the center trigger at the end of the game. And then I draw myself uh, plus one, minus one. And Jen's like, why can't I get those? So she can go backwards and go through the tunnel. All right, well, she can't. So she's got to move on. All righty, what's she going to do? She's going to play this four because she needs to get to these twos. Toot. Sweet. All righty. And so that means... All right, so this guy could go one, two, three, four which won't do anything by himself, or one of them could go one, two, three, four, which also won't do anything. Hmm. But either way, it gives her the, to the two so she can get the key so that guy can move in. Does she want this guy to catch up or this guy to, to get over here so she can hopefully pick up another treasure before it's over? He doesn't have any move backwards so that two guys could go there. And this guy still has a chance if he only goes one, two, three of jumping ahead. So she'll have one of them go one, two, three, four. And by himself, he doesn't do anything. And then she draws a plus one, minus one. All right. And it is my turn. Okay. So I will now play my move forward one and pick something up as if it's lighter. This guy will move forward one. Normally, I need two here, but I only need one. So I just got another treasure. And I didn't create a new one. All righty. And then I draw a new card. It's a two. All right, and it's Jen's turn. And so now she'll go on ahead and play her two to have this guy go one, two, and she'll pick up the key she needs to get into the burial chamber. All right, so that's that. And then she draws, and she gets a one. Where were those ones before? My turn. Okay. I can move one, two, or three, or one. And also I should be thinking about what I'll unlock when I do that. And... Let's see. I will just go on ahead and move forward Eins, one, to jump up here so I can get the key that I need to get in. Because it would be terrible to get all the way up here and not be able to get in without a key. So I've got the key I need. Okay. I draw a new one. It's a four. And it's Jen's turn. She's now got the two. So she goes one, two, she spends her key. She's losing one point, but she gained five. And now, as soon as I go in here, that'll trigger the end of the game. And I'm not saying it's necessarily wise for Jen to do this because she's still definitely behind. Although she's doing okay, picking up more, but the fact that all her guys are down here in Twosville instead of up here in Sixville because of that tunnel, that's a killer. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see, we'll, we'll keep going. So anyway, so Jen did that. She draws a new card, she gets a one. And now all of a sudden, when she needs it to move her guys forward fast, now she's getting low cards again. Ouch. My turn. A one, two, three, or a plus one, minus one. And one, two, three. Yeah, let's just go ahead and have this guy scooch up. One, two, three. And hey, let's take a powerful level three card. This will give me enough flexibility to guarantee I can get into the chamber. Oh, wait. What did I just play, though? Hold on a second. Uh, right. Oh, I talked about it, but I didn't actually play it. Here we go. So we're going to play it and then go one, two, three. And then I traded a one, two, three for a one to five. That's okay. Okay. Jen's turn. All right. So the plus minus one or the four. This guy's done. He can't do anything else. So now it's just a matter of trying. Let's see. One, two, three. Jen still needs a three to land here. After or She will play this four because then that'll get her access to the three. So at least one of her guys can jump up. Now, who's going to move four? This guy would go one, two, three, four. Uh, and so she can maybe get this treasure pretty quickly. This guy would go one, two, three, four, not do anything. This guy would go one, two, three, four, and then move forward two. I think Jen likes this best. One, two, three, four. Because now if this guy moves forward two, she picks up another big treasure and all of those guys are worth three points apiece. That's not bad. It's not bad. Let's see what happens. Jen gets a randomizer. 
Okay, my turn. And let's see, it's good. either way, it's going to be a plus one, minus one. Let's go on ahead with this one. And let's go on ahead. And um, let's just get, do I want another super card? Yeah, because this will let me pick up something else on the cheap. So we'll do that. Cool. Jen's turn. Okay. Uh, the plus one, minus one, or the three. If she does the one, then she'd go four. One, two, three, four. No, she wants to go two so that all these guys will pick that up. If she goes... No, but actually, this is cool. She'll go three, and this guy will go one, two, three. And does she take the move a random amount you don't know, or does she take another key? At this point, the game's over. I just think she wants points. She'll take a key, even if she's never going to use it. But, um, right, and then she draws a card. And remember, she's got the minus one, so this guy will be able to move backwards and pick that treasure up. Okay, so that is that. My turn. And what do I want? Let's go on ahead and move it, move it. One, two, three, four. So now I need to go one, two, three, four, and I'll trigger the end of the game. And remember, I've just I've got this, so I can get in there, no problem. So the game is almost over. Although, again, Jen doesn't know exactly what I'm doing because she can't see my hand. But in the meantime, Jen will go on ahead and play her plus one, minus one. Move backwards one, which is also good. If the game ends, this guy in this room would have been worth zero. Now he's worth three. All three of them have picked her up a five-point treasure and not revealed a new one. So that's that. Jen draws a new card. It's another freebie. Okay. And it's my turn. And yeah, folks, it's over. It's over. Oh, wait, no. Here's a problem, though. I could end it right now. But both of these guys are in a zero-point room. i got to get them out of there. Because I moved them all the way up here to be worth points. I can't end the game right yet. All right, so I'm saving this to make sure my guy can get in. So I'll do this plus one, minus one. And I'll just move him up here so he's in the seven slot. So that gives Jen a little bit more time because I couldn't end it right then. And what is Jen going to do with that time? Well, these guys only moving forward one will basically make her lose points. Uh, this guy... One, two. She would like to move him up. One, two, three. She needs to move him three. Shoot. Hmm. Darn it. But either way, she has to play a one. So if he goes one, then she needs a two. Okay, yeah. So she's just going to do this one to move him up one. All right. And then next turn, she'll move a two so that he'll teleport forward. All right. So that was that. And now it's my turn. And once again, I could end the game right now because I've got it. But I want to get that other guy off the zero space. So I'll play this two. So he will go one, two. And now he's worth seven points again. And then I draw a card. Arr! Oh my gosh, this is so hard to play with one hand. All the cards are exploding. Here's my hand of cards. Okay, fine. There we go. Jen's turn now. So, she now plays the two that she was thinking about from last turn. And this guy goes one, two, and jumps up here. So, Jen just went from zero to six points. That's not bad. And she gets a one. This is not helping her, though. Moving forward, any of these guys forward one doesn't do her any good. She needs to move forward one, two, three to get into the four-point space. And she does have a three, so that's coming up. But now it's my turn. And finally, folks, I play this. I will play it for a four. One, two, three, four. I'll use my key to get in. I'll get it. And now, at the end of the round, the game is over. I was the first player, so Jen now has one more turn. She will play this three she's got. And go one, two, three. So she just earned an extra point off of that. And the game is over. How do we tally up the score? Well, we see how many points all our guys are worth. And this is where I will destroy Jen. We both have a guy in here, so we both have 13. And then I've got a guy, 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 6 is 20, plus this guy way back here is 21. So um, 13 plus 21 would be um, 35, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I believe that's right. So Jen's position, uh, she had the 13, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, plus 6 is 13. So 1, 2, 3, 10 to 26. So the positioning, I came out on top. Uh, I got 3 for my sarcophagus. Jen got 5. And uh, right, so Jen's got one key left over. I don't have any keys left over. The sets. This is where I was already winning, but now I'll finish it. Jen has one set. So um, that is worth 3 points. 1, 2, 3. 
And I did much better with this. Alrighty. So. Oh, did I? Oh my gosh! What the heck happened? I only have one set. Look at this. Because I don't, I, at no point did I pick up any necklaces. So this is a wild. So this, I only have one set. I only got three. One, two, three. But now we were supposed to be scoring this as we went and I, we're not doing it. How many points did we get for our treasures? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 43 to 53. And Jen, this is her last chance. She did get better treasures than me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, I think 39, 49. And that's it, folks. Not too bad. A, f a fairly close game. I thought I was going to blow her out quite a bit more, but Jen was able to make lemons out, or lemonade out of lemons, and she's only a few points behind in that full quick run-through of Luxor. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.